Here at Yaffa, we take pride in bringing you fine Palestinian produce of the highest quality, all sourced from pure Palestinian farms. Yaffa proudly sponsors For the Love of Food, only on Islam Channel. Visit yaffa.co.uk for our full range. Award-winning chef and author of Perfectly Easy Indian Food, Shanaz Ayub, brings you a cooking show dedicated to global cuisine because it's all for the love of food. I'm Shanaz Ayub, and for me, it's all about easy cooking. Comfort recipes that you can cook at home, when you have time, and when you haven't. Mouth-watering meals shouldn't take that long to make. Asalaamu Alaikum, hello and welcome to For the Love of Food, the cooking show that takes you all over the world and today is no exception. I'm going to take you to India, a personal favourite of mine. And joining me on this wondrous journey, I have a dynamic duo. These two ladies use the art of spoken words to inspire all around them. They are poetic pilgrimage. Asalaamu Alaikum sisters. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice Come to meet you. into my kitchen. Thank oh, you, you smell nice. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a seat. You've washed your hands already? Yes. Great. Well prepared. Have a seat. Now, depending on who likes to do the most work in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know why you like to do the most work. Manira, you've taken your seat. I do the most so work. we have Manira and we have Sukina. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. And you are poetic pilgrimage. Yes. Amazing. Now, you guys have been on a journey <laughs> and it's not a career path that we would normally choose for women, <laughs> but I have listened to your songs and I am blown away, Thank you. absolutely blown away. But I think actually that today we are here to cook <laughs> and <laughs> we'll be listening to some of your skills a little later on. But right now we're going to just concentrate on the cooking skills Great. going on here. Okay. Are we good cooks? No. My, yeah. food, <laughs> my food tastes <laughs> nice. But my methods are a bit confusing. <laughs> okay. And the methods are confusing. Well, we're going to put that all right here, right now and today. And what we're going to be making, as I said, we're making Indian food. So we're making rogan gosh, mm -hmm. and we're making, which is a lamb curry, a very authentic lamb curry. And we're also going to be making garlic and coriander naan bread nice. as well. So amazing. this is a real treat for you guys. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> right, so what I've done is I've already got my um, onions um, that have started cooking, about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. I've cut an onion up, I've sliced it, as you can see, and I've just sweated it down slightly. I'm going to make that go light brown, okay? Once that starts going light brown, I'm going to start adding my spices. Now, where do you come from originally? So originally we're from the Caribbean, our, our families are from Jamaica. Right. Um, and so Jamaica is one of those places in the world where we have like, it's a very mixed kind of culture. So we have Welsh, we have Chinese, we have Portuguese, we have Lebanese, you know, it's like a very... There's a, it's just so our food re reflects that as well. It mm. does. So yeah. you are no stranger to any of these spices no. going on here. So while I've been browning my onions here, I'm going to start actually introducing you to some of the spices that we've got going. Mm. We have cloves. Are you familiar with cloves? Yeah. Cloves are the medicinal, yeah. um, the amazing um, properties it has. Especially if you have a toothache, yeah. you yeah, bite down on a clove and the oil of the clove just yeah. cures it straight away. Mm. You don't need to spend all that money going to a dentist. <laughs> I've just put dentists out of business. <laughs> and then we've got the cinnamon, the bark of the cassia, bark of the cinnamon. Um, and then over here we've got red chilli flakes, we've got ginger and garlic mixture. Now this is mm. something I get my mum to do because I'm too lazy. This okay. is ginger and garlic, oh, equal quantities fresh. of each. Okay. And I just wazzy woo them in a blender mm. with some, well rather she does, <laughs> with some water and some salt and it keeps in the fridge for months. Wow. And it's just there to hand so you're not chopping each time That's you want to really make good. a curry. Then we've got our tomato puree here. That's not really a spice, but I just thought I'd add it. We've got our um, ground cumin, a really nice mm. earthy taste that comes out. We've got ground almonds as well. That's going to add a real depth and richness to this dish. Nice. And we have turmeric. Turmeric yeah. is something you use in your cooking? Yeah. Right, so turmeric has what's called Ayurvedic qualities. Yeah. Um, it's very good for your skin. Wow. Mm. It's amazing healing qualities as well. If you have cuts or anything like that, you put 
healthy, we call it turmeric, mm. and um, you know, it, it has amazing medicinal qualities yeah. there. And we've used about one pound of um, lamb here that we've just cut into pieces as that well. That'd be enough for us, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just for you, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and the, together with that, we're gonna just mild it down a bit with the yogurt. Mm. Um, and that's so it. So you cook the yogurt in it? Like you actually put the yogurt we in We cook it? the yogurt in, but we wow. add that at the, um, close to yeah. once we've added all the ingredients. So we've got our onions nice and brown here. Let's start adding these spices. So let's not go crazy with these though, because it's easy to, and then they start dominating the whole dish. Mm. They're very, very strong. Mm. And we don't eat them. We set them aside. They give the flavor. Then when you come across them while you're eating, just set them to the side of your plate. So we're going to put about four in there. Okay, and then we've got our cinnamon as well. Very, very strong flavors going on there, particularly once it starts frying. Okay. The frying just releases the flavor completely. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put our ground cumin. We can be quite generous with this, actually. Mm -hmm. I like putting ground cumin in. Oh, lovely taste. This lovely color, mild taste. And then we've got our Chili flakes going on. How hot do you like your food, girls? Mm -hmm. Are we into heat? A little bit, a little bit, yes. Okay, okay. you know, I'm gonna have to go for something <laughs> neutral. I'm like not a volcano. I know, I'm gonna have like... to be super. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then we've got our garlic and ginger. Right, so about a teaspoon of each okay. goes in. Okay, so if you've got your garlic and your ginger paste, um, if they're separate, then it's a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of ginger. If they're mixed together, then about a tablespoon would go in. So that gets mixed in nicely. Oh, you can smell no, it, can't you, already? <laughs> it's coming, it's coming out, isn't it? That smell, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the other thing we're gonna add, actually, at this point, is our tomato puree. Because okay. what we wanna do is we wanna form that paste, the curry base, okay? okay? So once we've done that, we're gonna just put it on a good high heat and then wait for the oil to separate from the mixture. Once the oil separates from the mixture, you know that you have made your curry paste. Mm -hmm. And then at that time, you can start adding your meat. Now for this dish, you need a bit of time. It's not, mm. a, it's not a quick dish. So I've gone for the shoulder cuts, sorry, the hind leg cuts, and I'm gonna add them in. And as I said, it depends on the quality of your meat. It's always worth going to a really good quality butcher, mm. someone that you know and trust, yeah. that is gonna give you a good quality um, piece of meat. And just, right, what we're gonna do now is put it on a really super high heat, and we're gonna transform the color from pink mm. to slightly paler okay. um, brown color. And at that point, you know that your meat is sealed. When you know your meat is sealed, it's locked in the juices mm. completely and nothing can touch it after that. You're almost there with this one. Look at the colors. Wow. Can you see that? Oh yeah, my God, great. it's amazing. <laughs> it's the great. colors are amazing. Roran actually in Persia means fat oh. or oil and Josh means intense heat. Oh. So actually the dish is um, intense heat um, in fat in intense heat, which doesn't sound that appetizing actually when you say it. And seeing as we try and promote this as being a healthy show, the alternative and the one that I prefer actually is um, the European take on it. And rojan, which is Spanish for red, Josh, intense heat. Okay. So what they say is this red passion. I, I prefer that one, I have to say. Let's not talk about um, fat intensity, let's talk about red passionate intensity instead. So we're happy with this. Right, we're gonna add also now our almonds. Remember okay. I said ground almonds, give it that real depth, luxury, decadence, indulgence. It just makes a bit of a difference. So are there almonds in other kind of Asian foods? I've never seen that before. Well, you know, a lot of the time when they make their, especially Kashmiri palau, for example, they tend to um, fry almonds and various nuts and sprinkle them on top. Yeah. We use it a lot in our sweet dishes. Mm. Um, almonds is, is, you know, one of those yeah. lovely flavors that we have the luxury of using in sweet and savory dishes. Mm. And it works really well in this, and you'll see that for yourself now. So, okay, we're doing well with this. There's nothing else to add to it apart from a bit of water, okay. right? So we're gonna add our water at this stage, let it cook for a bit. It smells great. It smells it amazing. Does it. We're gonna add the yogurt a little bit later on, cover that up and leave that to cook and we can get started on the naans. <laughs> Thank you.
Here at Yaffa, we take pride in bringing you fine Palestinian produce of the highest quality, all sourced from pure Palestinian farms. Yaffa proudly sponsors For the Love of Food, only on Islam Channel. Visit yaffa.co.uk for our full range. Okay, so I'm going to get ready to make my naans now, but I've noticed that you two have just been sitting in front of your ingredients. You haven't even asked what you're supposed to be doing with We're them. Just waiting patiently. You're just waiting patiently for instructions. That's not good enough. Right, let me come round here. Right, Sister Manira, I want you to chop the um, the green pepper. Make it okay. um, so you cut it in half first, then you make them inch sizes like that, and then you chop your coriander. That's going to be going into the curry. Okay, the stem, including the stem. You can include the stem as well, but you know actually. I'm glad you said that because I've been using a lot of coriander in this series and um, I have to say that the stem has as much flavour as the leaf. Mm. Okay. Never discard the stem. You know, but though for aesthetic purposes in a curry, I suppose it will disintegrate. Mm. Just put it, I suppose, up to about here. So you're getting a lot of stem and that has all the flavour in. Okay. So we're going to cut it that way. And that should be okay. about okay. how much you need. Okay, we're not going to put them in yet because if we put them in now, they're just going to all melt in and we've got a while to go for this curry. So if you just have them ready for me, that's good enough. And then, sister, you get to use my contraption I'm here. I absolutely love this, honestly. <laughs> so what you've got to do is just... Okay, so we're going to cut off the end here mm -hmm. because this is what's going to go into the garlic knans. Okay. So it has to be super fine. Okay. And it's just this rocking motion okay. of cutting them as fine as you can. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Did she get the cool job? Are you offended? No, no, no. no. I did get the cool job. Though. You did get the cool <laughs> job, then, yeah. Or at least the cool contract. She was the one that was brave enough to sit next to me. <laughs> OK, so we're going to be making homemade naans. I can't even begin to tell you how easy this is. Wow, I'm this is, I have to say, this is the sort of thing you make for your guests and you impress them yeah, at every absolutely. dinner party. It makes it look as if you have spent hours in the kitchen. Whereas, in fact, you've just spent minutes. The only hard work is watching it rise. You have to allow it to rise for a good amount of time. Um, so I'll just show you how to do the basic dough. This is about 250 grams of self-raising flour. Okay. Um, together with that, we're going to be adding a couple of tablespoons of full-fat yogurt, a bit of salt, water, a little bit of oil. Now, at this point, it depends on what you want to put in your naans. What do you like in your naans? I like peshwari naans. Peshwari naans. Peshwari naans all the okay. Way. So they have peshwari naans sometimes come with a bit of coconut in, yeah. which we're not going to be doing. But also, they have seeds in. You can have the black onion seeds. You can have the nigella seeds. Kalonji, that's called. Um, or I'm going to be going for ajwan seeds. If you smell this, you will know instantly. This will remind you of naans. Instantly. Mm, you just know it. They're yeah, just so yeah. lovely. I mean, yeah, the yeah. fragrance wow. that comes from that. Now, that in the naan bread is absolutely delicious For with sure. every single crunchy bite. But you've got to be quite. Uh, you've got you know don't put don't be too generous with it because it is quite a a powerful um, ingredient to have. And also, we're going to be adding garlic. Right, you can add garlic pieces, or alternatively, you can go for the garlic powder. It's much the same okay. thing. So I'm going to be adding garlic powder. So we've got the garlic powder going in there. We've got a little bit of oil. So we're going to put a couple of tablespoons of yogurt in there as okay. well. And then we're going to add our water. Now, water is much like salt. You can add, but you yeah. can't take away. So let's just start with this. If you've got one of those really fancy mixers, then you can put it in there. Um, but I haven't. And I prefer to do this with my hands, to be quite honest. Mm. I'm not sure if I have, but I'm going to add some salt. Just a little bit of salt, a pinch there going on. Okay. How's this coriander looking? Is this okay? This is absolutely fine. That's, That's well. good. Well done. Oh, and if you just like to gather that all up now, we just start kneading it with our hands like that. And eventually we make it into a good dough. So this should make probably about four naans. So we've got the naan bread on and we're going to start rolling out these naans. This is the thing I love the most. Wow. They don't need to be round, <laughs> <laughs> which is wonderful. So no work required. That is the only movement you need. That's it. Cool. Right. That was it. That That's is it. Ridiculously cool. <laughs> okay. And then what we're going to do is just make sure that this is hot. 
I always struggle with the rolling pin. I don't know why I just never get it right. Because it's psychological. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is just prick it like that. And that just allows it to cook quite nicely because that side's going to go under the grill. Okay. Okay, and then before it goes under the grill, I'm going to baste it with some butter. Mm. Okay. Now, while I'm doing that, I need to hear some lines <laughs> from you guys. Where do you get your inspiration from? <laughs> Where do we get our inspiration from, Sook? Well, a combination of things. I think so, uh, sometimes it's like life experiences or sometimes it might be an injustice that we've seen that's taking place somewhere or it could be our own struggles or our own joys. It depends, really. And then we tend to kind of come together. And it's always amazing because there's two of us. So, say, for example, I have the initial idea and like I write about it and then Manira will take the same concept but write about it in her own way and it's always amazing to see how we can take the same topic. Mm. But That's because like you're different... singing from the same hymn sheet. <laughs> from the same soul. <laughs> That's right. I mean, you have the same ideas. I mean, have you had the same experiences? More or less, I mean, like, I mean, we have different experiences, like, coming up, like, for example, my, um, my, we're both free vets, so my family are Oh, Christian, that's interesting, yeah. And um, Sakina, like, her family, uh, I guess, is more um, Rasta influences there. But, you know, we're both from Bristol, we went to the same high school, um, we converted to Islam at the same time, you know, so, like, a lot of our experiences yeah. have been Simultaneous, shared. Simultaneous, yeah. yeah. Here at Yaffa, we take pride in bringing you fine Palestinian produce of the highest quality, all sourced from pure Palestinian farms. Yaffa proudly sponsors For the Love of Food, only on Islam Channel. Visit yaffa.co.uk for our full range. each other before you decided to group up together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 To be truthful, Poetic Pilgrimage is a group, but it's not just a group, it's a friendship, you know, mm -hmm. it is certainly a friendship. If it wasn't for that, I don't think we'll still be together, because, yeah. you know, skin you know, can be quite irritating. <laughs> <laughs> I pride myself in my irritation. <laughs> That's your excuse. <laughs> Uh, who writes the lyrics? Is this something that you come up with together? I mean, does it rhyme? There's obviously mm. raps usually rhyme, yeah. don't they? So <laughs> coming up with those ideas, with the yeah. ideas that you've got, and obviously the added pressure of making them rhyme. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, we have two things. We have the spoken word and we have the poetry. You know, um, or the spoken word and the hip-hop. So hip-hop is more like a rhythmic thing, yeah. you know? We both individually write, you know? We both write our own things. Um, although I would like to experiment writing for you and you writing for oh me. Oh, my God. I think that would be really That'd interesting. Cool. That'd, That'd be, be interesting. Cool. Yeah, you can try that. Yeah, <laughs> but like, with the poetry doesn't necessarily need to rhyme, you know? Mm. So, yeah, we write our own material. Yeah. And so you have to give me a, a little <laughs> bit of a, a rendition here of the sort of thing that... What's popular? I don't know. <laughs> I think, I mean, we've got, we've got lots of different things, but maybe we, I think we're going to do a piece that we've got called I Dream. I was going to wrap with the nine in my hand. <laughs> 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 you could have been getting a little bit more inspiration, maybe, you know. Um, this, this piece is called I Dream. Okay, it's from our hymn. New love and new feelings and no reasons for dreaming my way into existence. I've got a new feeling. Song spells are healing for all those not seeing the beauty inside. Self so believing. I've been there and I'm still not where I want to be. But over the years, I discovered there's an alchemy. An art to happy, negative never traps me. Start today to make it reality. This my dream, my mission, it seems. No more wishing me free. Only action we need for me to actually be free. When mountain tops in front of me, peace and tranquility, belief in my abilities. I dream for those Muslims and refugees fleeing war from overseas to famine and the poverty. I dream, I dream, yeah, yeah. I dream, I dream. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Enjoyed that. And that idea came from? So that one was really, it was whenever we perform it, we always talk about the fact that as children, we always have like, amazing dreams like if you speak to kids and you're like what yeah. do you want to be when you grow up like, I want to be an astronaut yeah. I want to you know be the president and as we get older we just streamline our dreams until we get to a stage where sometimes we don't dream at all yeah. so I think we wanted to kind of do this piece for for the dreamers and also for people to remember their dreams because everyone has locked down inside of them something that they've always wanted to achieve or oh accomplish. you know what so, and I can say it, it should never be too late mm, exactly. it should never be too late if you want something enough go yeah. out there and get it Definitely. it's there for you to have 
Definitely. And in fact, the more you feel that it's going to be harder for you to get, the bigger the struggle, yeah. the more passion you should Absolutely. have to get it. My biggest dream right now is Rogan Josh. <laughs> <laughs> my dream is manifested. <laughs> well, okay, what we're going to do is here, we're going to baste these naans with hot melted butter. Wow. Oh, hot melted How much butter, butter is there? How much butter is there? Yeah, melted. As much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> What we're going to do now is we're going to put it in the grill, not in the yeah. oven, under the grill. And here's one I made earlier, girls. I hear that there is a documentary on the way. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, So we were really um, fortunate, actually, that someone found our story of interest. So we were filmed by a German film... Um, Danish filmmaker mm. called Meda Reitzel. And wow. so she followed us around for literally four years. She came to Morocco with us on tour. She came to America. She came uh, uh, back up, back up. <laughs> Morocco on tour. Yeah. So you guys have actually gone places with this career. Yeah. This is not something that you're just doing in your front room and then no. posting on YouTube. Because I've seen this video. The videos are amazing. Yeah. So you've been to Morocco. Where else have you yeah, been? Yeah, we've been to South Africa. We've done a West Coast of America tour. We've done an East Coast tour. Um, we've been all over Europe. A lot of Scandinavia to Greece, um, Austria, Germany. And how have you been received? I mean, this is like an unusual thing to yeah. watch. Yeah. Girls, so. women in hijab, yeah. okay, rapping. It's an unusual <laughs> thing. You know, but. we always joke about this, and like Sakina always says that, you know, it generally takes people about three songs before people get over. Like, they're looking at us like, and then after three songs, they're like, okay, it's just good music that we enjoy, you know, so. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. So the perception's interesting. I think, obviously, for the Muslim community, it is very new. Some people love us. And some people are just like, not interested in seeing that. Well, family. I love you both. Thank you. I love absolutely you. love what you've done. <laughs> Thank you. And I hope it continues. But your documentary then is coming out when? Yes. So it came out um, on Al Jazeera. Oh, it's come out. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's like now it's on the internet. It's on the Al Jazeera website. And it's called Hip Hop Hijabis. So Hip Hop was... Hijabis, <laughs> love it. Are you ready to eat? hundred yes, percent. Yes, 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 yes. All that talking <laughs> and rapping is mustard exactly. up an appetite. <laughs> Great. I'm going to get the kitchen ready now to serve you your dishes. Wow. Okay, Thank are we ready you. to go? And then after that, you two are going to go head to head in for the love of food. How round is your roti challenge? <laughs> <laughs> Competitiveness will come out now between you. Okay, tuck in, guys. Thank you. Ooh, so nice. Feeling you the naan. Oh my yeah. goodness, it feels so good. Mm. I was going to say, did you see actually how long that lamb took to make? That wasn't yeah. long, was it? it? And you'll see how tender it is yourself mm. because I've used tender cuts. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good? Mm. I have a spiritual moment here. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can make up a whole new rap just Literally. about my rock and gosh. Try and think of something right now. Can you think of anything right now, a rap that you can make up right now about this dish? I've got cinnamon stick in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I put you on the spot there. Mm. Okay, whilst my sisters are enjoying their meal, I'm going to take a break and clean up this kitchen for our next part, which is, for the love of food, how round is your roti challenge? Join us in just a minute. gonna be good <laughs> what you guys have got to do you've got your dough in front of you you've got your rolling pins and you've got your flour you know what rotis look like yes don't pretend you don't <laughs> you've got to roll but them out like a, they're like japatis yeah that's what you're making okay. that is exactly what you're making so you've got to roll them out and the winner is the one that comes out with the roundest and the best cooked one so you ready girls yes. Ready, miles. get set Go. I think you started before, can see the sweat, can see you sweating. It's fine, just get your little dough here. Why are you talking? Like so. I'm just letting you know, my rope is so round, yeah, you can, you'll can. you be able to hula hoop with it. My rope is so round, I'm going to be around forever. We don't my want the rotis you hula hoop with. We shouldn't have holes in the middle. Yeah, we're not my having donuts here. So my rope is going to be so round. And your rope looks like a French stick. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's sticking to the thing. That's because you don't know nothing about roti, so oh it's mine. No, 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 put some flour on. I'm going to help you, sister. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, it's not the naan, it's the chapati. How round is okay. it? Not how oblong okay. is it? Okay. Okay. I can spill okay. I'm ready. Okay, come I'm in. Good. Let me give you a bit of <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, the heat from these pans is making me. Keep look over there. No. Oh <laughs> it's perfect. It's okay. okay, go, go at last. Right, put your heat up. 
Not that one, the next one. That's it. Yeah, stop messing with mine. Hate to 90 degrees. That's it. Stop there. Excellent. God, oh, wow. at last. This looks like the shape of a samosa. Mine is like Africa. Don't, don't hate. Oh, wow. Look at mine. Okay, we're getting there with that one. We're getting there with that one. We may need to be here a few months for that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's turn that one off as well. Right. right, okay. Um, we don't need to be a super genius here. <laughs> Um, I think okay. that one looks quite round. Who did that one? Sakina, you are the winner. Thank you. Okay. And it's cooked as well. It's quite thin Thank and it's you. well cooked. Thank you. Yours is not only not round, <laughs> but it's not cooked inside either. Sakina, you are the winner. Thank well you. done. Cheers. It's all loser. <laughs> Thank you, girls, for joining me. It has Thank been you. so much fun. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Absolutely. Great. Fantastic. Thank you as well for watching and join me next time for the love of food. See you next time. Slow mm -hmm. Here at Yaffa, we take pride in bringing you fine Palestinian produce of the highest quality, all sourced from pure Palestinian farms. Yaffa proudly sponsors For the Love of Food, only on Islam Channel. Visit yaffa.co.uk for our full range.